Hi guys, it's Kaylee, and today I'm going to be doing a dodging and burning tutorial. So it's just going to be relatively quick, um, sort of a follow on just from the frequency separation tutorial I recently did. So if you haven't seen that, maybe just go take a look at that first. It's all to do with skin retouching. So this is just basically a good way to do some dodging and burning without damaging any of the elements in the photograph and keeping the quality as high as possible. Okay, so we'll get straight into it. I did actually record this video, uh, thought I recorded it until I got a pop-up saying that it never actually started recording because I didn't have enough space on my computer, so I'm an idiot. But anyway, so we'll get straight into this. And so first off, it's very easy to do. Uh, all we have to do is, just for this particular technique, is hold down Alt on the keyboard. And then we click create new layer, which is just this little icon here. And when this box comes up, all we have to do is go to mode and then change that to overlay and fill with overlay neutral color. So we just check that box and press OK. So the layer that we have here, I'll just hide those layers. This is basically what the layer looks like. It's just gray. So we'll check those back on. Okay, and all we have to do on this layer, so the reason we're doing this is so that we're not having to use the background layer to do dodging and burning. So if I just hide that for a second, most people will go straight onto the background layer, or not most people, but a lot of people tend to do this, and use the dodging and burning tools, which is just here, and just go straight onto the background image. Now, that's really not a great way to do it because... Um, it's it's very destructive to the image and it tends to change the tones it just makes it look not great at all really lowers the quality so this way is definitely better to do it so we'll just go back to this layer and you can usually call this like what I usually do is I'll call it either a dodge layer or a burn layer so I'll just rename the layer so it's easier to see so actually I'll do that now Dodge. okay and so to dodge, we just click on the tool over here. This one here is the dodge tool. And actually, we'll just zoom right in first. You'll really notice the dodging and burning, how much of a difference it makes on the face. Um, it really just brings out people's features. Uh, it's especially good for fashion photography. Um, yeah, it makes makeup stand out more. It's, it's really great really great tool to use so we'll just start off with mid-tones and I usually like to use like a probably a bigger brush size for this and obviously soft so we can't see any hard lines okay and it's still too big I'll just move that down okay and then we'll just I'm just gonna go over her cheekbone and notice I've got protect tones checked as well that's really good um, to keep the quality quite um high as well and just with the exposure keep it relatively low because too high an exposure can just ruin the photo um, okay so I'm just gonna go over her other cheek just on her nose just any of the parts of her face that are already kind of being hit by the light we'll just and I'll just lighten this shadow up actually a little bit I don't tend to use uh, shadows up here a lot it I don't know it just kind of brings out the blacks and makes them look very faded, which I suppose it's okay if that's the look you're going for, but I don't tend to use the dodge tool for that. So we'll just stick to mid-tones. Okay, and zoom out. So you can pretty much go over the skin, over the hair, anything that you want sort of really brought out. We'll zoom back in. And we'll go to highlights now. So I usually tend to do these after mid-tones. And with highlights, I don't tend to, to use this tool unless it's on the parts that are already highlighted. So as you can see, these bits on her eyelid are already lit quite well. So just those little hot spots, I just want to bring out a little bit more to make them stand out. Okay, just a little bit on the cheekbones. A little bit on her lips. And I also like to do this with, with hair as well, just to kind of bring the highlights out there. OK. 
Okay. With the eyes, I like to bring them out as well, although I tend to not do it too much because um, they can tend to look a bit cartoony um, if you use the dodge tool too much on them. So I'm just using a bit of mid-tones and just a little bit of highlight just to bring them out a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to create a new layer just on the side here. So we'll hold down Alt again on the keyboard, click create new layer. We'll name this one burn. Go to mode, overlay and fill with overlay neutral color. Okay, so we've got another layer here and now we can start burning. So to get to the burn tool, you have to go over to the dodge tool just here and then right click the dodge tool and go down to burn. So same thing, I'll start off with mid-tones. I don't use the burn tool on anything that's very light, um, just the, the areas that are already kind of dark. Same with the dodge tool, just kind of reversed obviously. And I'm just gonna define her cheekbones just a little bit more and just underneath her chin. Okay. And this is where it comes in handy for makeup because it can really define it and make it stand out more. Um, sometimes that can be a problem. It's obviously it's not the makeup artist's fault. It's a lot of the time just how it appears on camera. And if you have lighter makeup um, and makeup that's not so bright or, or dark, it can not show up as well. This is really a great way to just sort of bring it back a bit and emphasize it. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit under her nose, a little bit under her lip. Alright, just go over some of the shadows. And I'll just go to shadows now in burn and just do those bits that are already dark. Make them a bit darker. Okay. I think I'm done, just for the purpose of this tutorial anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go take a snapshot in my history tab. And the original photo looks like this. So that's without dodging and burning. And this is what the dodging and burning does to it. So it really just brings out the model's features that little bit more. It's really great for fashion photography, as I said. Um, so the good thing about doing the dodging and burning on layers as well is that over here in this panel, we can change the opacity of the layers. So if you feel like you might have gone a little bit over with, you know, either burn or dodge, you can just bring it down and adjust it this way instead of going in and trying to correct what you've already done the hard way. So that's a good way to do it. All right, so I'll just show you the difference once again. All right, and you can obviously do more work on it, um, bring out certain features more, um, but just for the sake of this tutorial, that's how I've done it. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this. And if you have any requests, as always, just let me know and I can try my best to get something up on YouTube um, as soon as possible. And yeah, well, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you next time.